Breaking news now, a search and rescue operation is underway in, off the coast of Florida where a small private plane has gone down after the pilot apparently fell unconscious. NBC's Pete Williams has been following the story throughout. Uh, Pete, take us through it. This is a, a, a small plane, obviously a private plane, and right. whether he lost oxygen for whatever reason, he clearly was unconscious when he went into the water. That's the way it seems, Andrea. We have a little map that I think tells the story quite clearly. This is the track of the plane after it took off this morning from Slidell, Louisiana, uh, on its way to Sarasota, Florida. And the track of the plane shows uh, it starts in a, a pretty straight direction, then it begins to drift to the south, and then those little circles are just the, what the plane started doing for a couple of hours after it took off. It just kept going up and down in altitude and around and around in circles. The Air Force noticed this track, sent some planes out to try to look into the window, but couldn't see in because apparently the windows were iced over. And that's a potential sign that the plane, which is normally pressurized, could have lost pressure, and that could have caused the pilot to become unconscious. Uh, the Air Force continued to track it, as did the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard uh, dispatched a cutter and some other aircraft to try to watch it. They warned uh, ships in the area to try to watch out for this plane. So now, as you say, it's an effort to try to get to the wreckage and see what they can recover. Now, this is not the plane, but this gives you an idea of what a Cessna 421 single uh, twin-engine plane looks like. It's a very small aircraft, not intended to carry a lot of people. It was on its way to Sarasota, Florida. And now the question is, what exactly happened, and can they get to the wreckage, Andrea? Pete Williams, thanks so much, Pete.